السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله إن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد All praises due to Allah, we praise him and we seek his forgiveness. And we ask Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to shower his peace and blessings upon the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon his family and companions and all those who hold firm upon the sunnah until yawm al-qiyamah. We have reached lesson 11 in important lessons for every Muslim, for every Muslim by Shaykh al-Allama Abdul Aziz bin Baz rahimahullahu ta'ala. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, Ba'da a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna a'taynaka al-kawthar, Fasalli li rabbika wanhar, Inna shani'aka huwa al-abtar. Verily, we have granted you, O Muhammad, al-kawthar. Therefore, turn in prayer to your Lord and sacrifice to him only. For he who makes you angry, O Muhammad, will be cut off. Chapter 108, verses 1 to 3. Only three verses in this surah. And Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, just to highlight, he begins by saying, verily we. And it is a question that I have asked before and I have been asked as well and many have asked. And the question here, my brothers and sisters, is who is we? Has it often occurred to us when we see in the Quran where it is mentioned we, 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 and it, it seems like it's referring to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, but it's a plural. So the question he's raised, who is we? And this is an honor that he is mentioned in plural so there's none with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is mentioned it is for him alone however this is as an honor to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to glorify him it is meant he is mentioned as a plural now this surah is named surah al-kawthar based on the first verse in the Quran which mentions al-kawthar and Al-Kawthar is said to be of two things, which means a great amount of good, a great, a great amount of virtue. And it is also said that Al-Kawthar is a river from the rivers of paradise, from the rivers of Jannah. Because we know within Jannah, there are many abundance of rewards and from them, are the rivers under we, uh, underneath which rivers flow, heavens underneath, gardens underneath which rivers flow. So we know there are gardens in Jannah, there are rivers in Jannah. And one of them is Al-Kawthar. This surah, it discusses some of the favors that Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has bestowed upon the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From the, the virtues that Allah has bestowed upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This surah was revealed in the context in which it was refuting one of the kuffar, one of the disbelievers. It was refuting him based upon a statement that he mentioned. And this person, his name was Al-As bin Wa'il. Al-As bin Wa'il, he mentioned when the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he had a son. The son was born to his wife, first wife Khadija. The son was named Abdullah radiallahu an, and he had died. So Al-As, he had said in regards to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he is, he is Abthar, a man who has no sons. So he was trying to revile the Messenger 
It's a belief through the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it was Ibn Abbas who narrated this occurrence. So he had called him this name, which means he is the one who has no sons. So this surah was sent down from Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala as a refutation to those whom revile the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who speak ill about the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this surah is in refutation to anyone who had enmity towards the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the meaning of the words of this surah. In this surah, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala mentioned his Prophet as his chosen one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had chosen the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from amongst all of mankind. And he gave him al-kawthar. That Allah had given the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-kawthar. And al-kawthar being a great abundance of good. A tremendous amount of virtue. And we'll come to see what this good and virtue may, may be. From this virtue also is considered the river in paradise. This river, this Nahar, Naharul Kawthar, which is mentioned in paradise. And it is a favor from Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the Day of Judgment. And likewise the pond. What's the pond? Does anyone know the name of the pond mentioned? So the Nahar, Naharul Kawthar being the river. And the pond, does anyone know the name? Al Hawla. Barakallahu feek. What's pond in Arabic there? Allahu Alam. I was trying to remember the name in Arabic. Nahar. Hiya Nahar al Kawthar. Wal Al Hawd. Shuman Samiha bil Aram. Bas al Pahi. Il Anamit al Buhayra al Hanam al Hul. Bas Nsit al Isam bil Aram. Mohammed Wogit. Isn't the word Hawd? Is it, it is in itself pond? Yeah. Allahu Alam. Yeah, well, it's good to know just for the Arabic uh, language in order for us to know, inshallah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Therefore, turn in prayer to your Lord. Turn in salah to your Lord. Turn to Him in prayer as gratitude, as thanks to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. He granted this favor upon you, so turn to Him in prayer. For his favor, virtue, and great blessing he gave him. And sacrifice to him only. Sacrifice to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala only. Make your sacrifice to your Lord and make your religion sincerely for Allah. As Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala said, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهِ Say, Indeed, my prayer, my rites of sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah, Lord of all that exists. He has no partner. Now, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَرْ So pray to your Lord and sacrifice to your Lord. From the sacrifices that we know of, there are names called Al-Hadi, or Udhiya. Does anyone know what the difference between Hadi and Udhiya is or when the term Hadi is used and when the term Udhiya is used? Just as a, a reference. I think Udhiya is used during Hajj. Udhiya is used when? During Hajj. When's, when's normal time? Eid. Eid. Which one? Eid al-Adha. That's when Udhiya is Eid al-Adha. And what's the other one? Al-Hadi? Hajj. Hajj. Al Hadi is the Hajj one. So the Hadi is the is the sacrifice that is made in the Hajj, and when is it made? Yawmul Wa Yawmul Nahr. No Yawmul Nahr, but for the Hajjaj, they don't call it Yawmul Eid. We call it Yawmul Eid here when you're not doing Hajj, but we call the main day Yawmul Nahr, which is which day of uh, the Hijjah? Number no number ten. Number 10, Barakallahu Fikr. Yeah, just after Arafah, which is the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah. Then Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says, For he who makes you angry, meaning your enemies and those who anger you, and from them was this person named Al-As bin Wa'il. 
he will be cut off. He will be cut off from every good and he will be cut off from good mention. So he will only be mentioned with evil and bad qualities. Now, we mention that al kawthar has two meanings. From that, an abundance of good and the other meaning that it is a river from the rivers of paradise. And we know of the pond, the pond being al hawd which the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be granted on the day of resurrection. And al hawd as mentioned in the hadith, is as wide as, does anyone know? A month, barakallahu feek. The distance it takes to travel a month. And the length of it being the same. And that it is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. Its containers are like stars in the sky, the containers in which you drink from. And whoever drinks from al hawd will never be thirsty ever again. And this is from the rewards that come after death. The rewards that come after every single person dies. Now we know on the day of judgment, and I don't want to get into it too much, but we know in the day of judgment what will occur. What will be drawn nearer to mankind when they stand, gathered, scattered? That will be brought forth in order to be judged. What will be brought clear, uh, closer to them? The sun. How far away? Does anyone else know? <laughs> How far will the sun be away? The distance of? A mile, a mile. The distance of a mile. And what else will be brought closer? Which is more harsher than the sun? Jahannam. It will have 70,000 chains on each chain. 70,000 angels pulling it. So what do you want when this heat has come down on you? You want thir- not to be thirsty, that's for sure. So if you drink from the hold, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who drink from the hold. You will never be thirsty again. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-kawthar and then told him to thank him through two of the greatest forms of worship. Two from the, of the greatest forms of worship. The first being as-salah, prayer. Second being sacrifice for the sake of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Now in previous durus, we know, we know from the, uh, the book of uh, Shaykh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab that he mentioned only 17. There are many forms of worship, but 17 forms of worship and from them being a salah and being sacrifice. So we know our salah has to be direct and sincerely for Allah wa ta'ala alone. And our sacrifices likewise are for Allah wa ta'ala alone. Such as the sacrifice done by slaughtering a sheep, on the day on the, the day of Yom Nahar in Hajj and in Udhiyah in Eid. And Al Kawthar being abundant good, if we if we just ponder for a moment upon how much virtue has been granted and how much favor has been bestowed from Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Think about this. Every time his name is mentioned, what do we do? The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What do we do? We say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We send blessings upon the messenger. This is from the favors of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala upon him. And if we think about the name of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how many times a day it is mentioned across the globe throughout all times of the day through the adhan ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah and through the iqama that alone tells us how much favor is sent upon the rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now let us think those who reviled the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam those who spoke ill of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such as Abu Jahl, 
Abu Lahab, Al As bin Wa'il. What are they mentioned with? They are mentioned with nothing but the promise of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Inna shani'aka huwa al-abtar. That these people, they will only be mentioned in vile mentioning, in that which defames them, that which goes an unpleasing term. These people are mentioned. Why? They spoke ill of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The one whom Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala chose all, over all of mankind. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent upon them this and he gave virtue and favor upon the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now let us turn to the ahadith of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which mention al-kawfar. It was narrated by Muslim in his sahih that Anas radiyallahu an he said whilst we, were, whilst we were with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he dozed off then he raised his head and he was smiling. Subhanallah, that in itself is enough of a blessing for us to know. That the Sahaba, they, had to see, they got to see the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam smiling. We said, why are you smiling, a messenger of Allah? He said, a surah has been revealed to me. And he recited the inter- interpretation of the meaning. Verily, we have granted you, O Muhammad, al kawthar a river in paradise. To the end of the surah. Then he said, Do you know what it is, Al Kawthar? We said, Allah and His Messenger know best. He said, It is a river that my Lord has promised to me, in which there is much goodness, and it is a cistern to which my Ummah will come on the day of resurrection. At-Tirmidhi narrated from Ibn Umar radiallahu an that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Kawthar is a river in paradise. Its banks, the banks of the river, the sides of the river, are made of gold. And its bed, the bottom of the river, of pearls and rubies. At-Tirmidhi said it is a Hassan and Sahih. And it was class Sahih by Shaykh al albani The hadith narrated by Muslim in his Sahih from Abi Dhar that into the cistern will flow two pipes from paradise. So al kawthar will be filled from the pipes that come from Jannah into al kawthar The apparent meaning of this hadith is that the cistern will be next to paradise so that the water from the river that is inside paradise will be able to flow in it, as Ibn Hajar has said. And Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala knows best. The characteristics of the river of Al Kawthar that will be in paradise is as Al Bukhari narrated in his Sahih from Anas radiallahu an that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whilst I was walking in paradise, I saw a river whose banks were domes of hollow pearls. The banks of the river were domes of hollow pearls. I said, what is this, O Jibreel? He said, this is al kawthar which your Lord has given to you. The angel struck it with his hand, and its mud or its perfume was of the most fragrant and pure of musk, the most beautiful of smells. In Al-Musnad, it was narrated from Anas radiallahu an that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I have been given al kawthar And it is a river that flows on the face of the earth. Its banks are domes of pearls and it is not covered. I struck its dust with my hand and its dust was the most fragrant of pure musk, and its pebbles were pearls. Fast Sahih by Al Albani. According to another report from, al, uh, from narrated in Al Musnad from Anas radiallahu an, that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that it is a river which Allah has given to me in paradise. It is whiter than milk. 
and sweeter than honey. And it, in it are birds whose necks are like the necks of camels. Omar said, those are soft birds. The Messenger وسلم, said, eating them is even softer. O oh, Omar, this was class Sahih by Shaykh Al-Albani. And Al-Bukhari and Muslim narrated Abdullah bin Amr radiallahu an said that the Messenger sallallahu said, My system is as big as a distance of a month's journey. Its length and width are equal and water is whiter than milk and its scent is better than musk. Its drinking vessels are like stars of the sky and whoever drinks from it will never be thirsty again. And there is no doubt that the scholars of hadith have considered the hadith about the system, which is, what is the system being? Al-Hawd. Al-Hawd. That this has reached the level of mutawatir. They have reached the level of mutawatir. Now that we know from the science of hadith, that there are different grades of the hadith. From mutawatir to down to fabricated. Completely made up. And there are many different grades. Mutawatir being, there is no doubt in the matter of this hadith being pure, pristine truth. And it must be accepted by every single Muslim. And these were from the hadith of al hawl And Al-Qurtubi, rahimahullah ta'ala said, our scholars have said everyone who apostates from the religion of Allah who introduces innovations before we get to the Afwan. The Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after mentioning the beauty of al kawthar and al hawd he also mentioned some ahadith in regards to that which is specific to those who will drink and those who will not drink from Al-Kawthar and Al-Hawd. So, we must also draw attention to this very, very important matter. With the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned in Al-Bukhari, I will reach the cistern ahead of you. Pay attention to this hadith. Because after hearing the beauty of the, of the Al-Kawthar and Al-Hawd, you want to be from those who drink from it, true or not? You would never be one of those who left out. But the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he gave us a warning. He mentioned, I will reach the hawd before you, before all of the Muslims, before everyone. Whoever comes to it will drink. And whoever drinks from it will never thirst again. They will never become thirsty ever again. So some people will come to me whom I will recognize and they will recognize me. But then a barrier will be placed between myself and them. There will be something barricading between myself and them. The Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Abu Hazim said, And Nu'man ibn Abi Aisha heard me narrating this hadith and he said, Is that how you heard Sahil Sayyid? I said, Yes. He said, I bear witness that I heard Abu Sa'id al-Khudri add. And he, meaning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, they are from me. And it will be said, you do not know what they had did after you were gone. And I will say, away with those who changed after I was gone. The Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, away with those who had changed after I was gone. It was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim. And Abu Huraira radiallahu an said that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, by the one in whose hand is my soul, I will drive men away from my cistern as strange camels are driven away from a cistern. That the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will drive them away. Like strange camels come in to drink from water, they are driven away from the people of the desert. Likewise, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will drive these people away. Our scholars, rahimahumullah, they said, and hafidhahumullah, they said, everyone who apostates, who leaves the religion of Islam, and 
those who introduce innovations into our deen. Bid'ah. Those who bring bid'ah into the deen of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. That which the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is free of. Ma laysa minni fahuwa rad. What is not from me is rejected, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. So those who apostate, those who leave the religion of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And also likewise, those who introduce and they bring bid'ah into the deen of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. That which Allah is not pleased with. They are from those who will be driven away from al hawl They are those who will not drink from the pond, from the system. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us from those people. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala allow us to be of those who drink from al hawl Some of those which the ulama mention, which will be from those who will be rejected from al hawl Ah, who are, from, who are from of the great groups of uh, Ahlul Bid'ah that we know of from old, from the first that had risen, first being the Khawarij, Marafidah, the Mu'tazila. These are from those who are mentioned by the ulama that will definitely not be from those who drink from al hawl They will be rejected. Now the Khawarij, those whom were only found in the time of Ali radiallahu an and Uthman, those whom Ali radiallahu anhu fought? Or do we have khawarij among us today? We have, yeah. we have many khawarij among us today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from those who brought extremes into the religion of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. May Allah protect us of them. And let it be clear, because every single Muslim must be warned of whom these khawarij groups are. What are some of the names of these Khawarij groups which are alive today, which are uh, on earth today spreading their innovation and their extreme ideas? ISIS, which is known as Daesh, those which have come from, uh, from Al-Qaeda, Baqa Haram, and uh, Jabhat al-Nusra. These are from those who are known from the Khawarij. Then there are also the Rafida, which we know of the Rafida, which have come from one of the biggest Rafidi nations are Iran, Iran which have bring about them the, uh, one of the greatest Rafidi uh, groups, which are the Ithna Ashariya, the Twelvers. These are from those who will be rejected. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from their fitna. Then we have those who come with the idea of Al Mu'tazila. The Mu'tazila, which have many things which they say which is out of the, the religion of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, such as they mention that Iman is that which is in the heart, and is not which that is upon action, and words involve other things which the Mu'tazila mention, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reject that, and some forms of a hadith that they did not accept, they only take a hadith ahad, for example, there are groups among us today that only take a hadith ahad, these things are which are rejected from the ideas of Al-Mu'tazila. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from such innovation and from such falsehood. And also likewise, other than those who apostated and those who brought innovation, are those whom committed from the great major sins, the evildoers and oppressors, those who tried to extinguish the truth, and kill its followers and humiliate them. And those who openly committed major sins and took the matters of major sins lightly. And all those who fo followed their deviant whims and desires and innovation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. The very purpose of our creation is to worship Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of hope for his reward, fear from his punishment. And from his reward is what? al kawthar Being able to drink from al kawthar being able to drink from al hawl And from his punishment is what? Being rejected from ever having that favor bestowed upon you. So, 
worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the intention insha'Allah that he rewards us, myself and you, with the ability to drink from al hawl with the ability to drink from al kawthar and to never be rejected from doing so. And to be from those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed his favor upon. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our righteous deeds and not allow us to be from those who apostate or fall into bid'ah or fall into major sin. And if we ever to do so, that he return us back to his religion to guide us to the truth and to give us his mercy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the sincere knowledge in order for us to understand the truth and in order for us to act upon it. Bidnillahi ta'ala. Insha'Allah, the live broadcast will finish and we'll have question and answers here. Subhanakallahumma alhamdulillah, ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka.